daughter's missing. I'm looking for his son. Shock, fear, disbelief, distress. Strong emotions united the loved ones of those killed or injured in the July 7th London bombings in the hours and days after the attacks. It's that bond which breaks down the boundaries between a distressed mother played by Blethyn and a Muslim father for their missing children. Thank you. It's, it's a human story. When I was first asked about being in London River, because it was set against the backdrop of the London bombings, I, I kind of withdrew, I wasn't interested until I met Rashid, um, when I realised he wasn't going to make a sensationalist film, there was nothing political about it, just a human story about how something as awful as the London bombings can affect real people. Already a hit with critics, its premiere is tonight on the day the attacks were remembered at a memorial service in London. It's five years to the day since 52 were killed and over 700 injured by four suicide bombers on the London Underground and a London bus. For some of those who survived, the memories are still too raw. I think five years really is perhaps a little too soon and perhaps a little out of taste. Also, I'm not sure whether anybody's bothered to really speak to any of the survivors or the bereaved and, and find out how we really feel about things and, and find out what actually did happen underground. But twice Oscar nominated Blethyn says she can empathise. It's still with us, it won't go away. Your hearts go out to all those people who lost um, loved ones, lost parts of themselves. The film opens to the public on Friday. Caroline Faraday, BBC Southeast Today, London.